the Iron Bowl has all the prestige. The history, the crazy moments, it's what fans of Auburn and Alabama live for during the college football season. The basketball contest between these two SEC powers, played first in 1924 and on an annual basis since 1948, may not have the panache of the Iron Bowl, but supremacy in the state of Alabama is on the line in this one as well. It's a look at the battle between the Tigers and the Crimson Tide, and it's right here on Stadium Rivals. The Alabama-Auburn rivalry truly comes down to a series of runs. From that first meeting in 1924 until 1958, the Crimson Tide dominated the rivalry, going 21-5 against the Tigers. 1941 marked their first matchup in the SEC, a 38-16 Alabama win. But the 50s and 60s would be where Auburn started turning things around in the matchup. Under the 12th basketball coach in program history, Joel Eaves, Auburn took on Alabama ranked in the top 25 for the first time. After dispatching number 13 Kentucky in the previous game, number 16 Auburn beat Alabama 67-65 in Montgomery in the season's final game. Rex Frederick notched a double-double in the win after doing the same against the Wildcats in the previous game. Auburn was looking for its first SEC title facing Alabama on February 27, 1960. This one would head to OT, where a fadeaway hook shot by Ray Groover in the last seconds of the game gave number 13 Auburn the 63-61 OT win. Auburn dominated the rivalry in the 50s and 60s. With their 73-69 win in 1968, the Tigers pulled even with the Crimson Tide at 25 wins each in the rivalry. Alabama needed to change its fortunes. Paul Bear Bryant, then the head football coach, was also the athletic director in Tuscaloosa. Bryant decided to hire C.M. Newton to turn around the basketball program. Come the 1970s, it would begin to come to fruition. Newton found his groove at Alabama and the top 20 Crimson Tide topped Auburn twice in 1973. The Crimson Tide would win their first of three straight SEC titles that season. NCAA tournament appearances followed in 1975 and also 1976 with a Sweet 16 run in that 76 season. From 1972 until Newton moved on in 1980, Alabama went 17-1 against Auburn to take back control of the rivalry. But a certain future Hall of Famer from tiny Leeds, Alabama would change things yet again. Auburn head coach Sonny Smith found a youngster named Charles Barkley in Leeds, the first program to recruit the future phenom. Barkley would choose the Tigers a place where he could play right away. He would factor into Auburn's 91-80 upset over number five Alabama in 1983, as well as a season sweep of the Crimson Tide in 1984. Auburn made its first ever trip to the NCAA tournament in 1984, Barkley's final season. For the first time ever, Auburn and Alabama met in the SEC tournament final. In overtime, pre-shot clock stall tactics saw time whittle down on the clock until Gerald White sank two free throws with 10 seconds left to give Auburn the lead and the eventual 53-49 win. Tournament MVP Chuck Person scored a game-high 16 points in the victory. The Alabama-Auburn rivalry would languish in much of the late 80s to the mid-90s, but as this run of streaks continued, the momentum swung back to Alabama. From 1987 to 1996, the Crimson Tide would win 21 of 24 games against the Tigers. Leading 45-16 at half, this matchup from January 18, 1998 was all Auburn. The Tigers eventually coasted to a 94-40 win. The 54-point margin was the worst loss in Alabama school history. Brian Smith's 16 points and eight boards led the Tigers. Cliff Ellis had his best season in 1998-99, leading the Tigers. In the SEC Tournament quarterfinals, Chris Porter tallied a game-high 22 points as number four Auburn won 93-61 the first time since 1960 that the Tigers beat the Tide three times in one season. Having Kentucky in the conference makes regular season titles scarce, with Alabama having last won one in 2002. But now with Avery Johnson and Bruce Pearl at the helm, some new juice has been thrown into this rivalry. Pearl led the Tigers to a regular season title in 2018, even though Alabama won two of their three games over ranked Auburn. Have you made you forget about the Iron Bowl? Probably not but Alabama-Auburn in the SEC has its share of top moments. These two will meet again late in 2019, hoping to add to these top games, the best of which we brought to you on Stadium Rivals.